Hey everybody, Rex Bear League Project. Check this out. The Anunnaki featured at the Oscars. Now, I don't know if this is Enki and Enlil. What I do know is what's in the center there is considered the Tree of Life, which I think is actually the DNA. And on the right of the Tree of Life, you're going to see a bird bean that has a humanoid body with a bird head and some wings. Well, that's the Ajiji. And if you read the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the Ajiji, a part of the Anunnaki, is used in the as a sacrifice, essentially. They take his DNA and use that to create modern human. Now, I certainly don't think the Anunnaki created us. I do feel they manipulated us. And some people feel it was for our betterment. Some people feel the opposite. I think that they might have added some aspects that we didn't have before and I also think they took a lot of it away unfortunately I think a lot of our organic innate abilities to be connected with source has been either downgraded or taken out and we have to find it again ourselves but isn't it weird that they feature the Anunnaki even at the Oscars and you've got the Ajiji on the right and I don't know if that's Anu on the left so it looks like this guy says it's Enlil and Enki but I don't think it's Enlil and Enki it is certainly a Sumerian deity. Both of them are Anunnaki, which I shouldn't, I shouldn't say a Sumerian deity, more like a god form that the Sumerians looked at as a god form. And here's another really cool image I want to share with you. Uh, what do you think this means? Because I'll tell you what I see. Give you a second to mull this over. In the center, you've got the tree of life. You've got the DNA. On the left and the right, you have Enki and Enlil. And then behind Enki and Enlil, you have the Ajiji, the bird people, which are also talked about. Once again, they're talked about in the Epic of Gilgamesh and various scriptures of Sumerian time discussing the engineers. You can call them the Anunnaki. You can call them ancient astronauts. You can call them demigods. Just don't call them late for dinner. Certainly, I feel that they had a huge impact engineering our current status, our current form in physical body. So, what you have here, Enki, Enlil, the Ajiji, and who is that in the sky? Who is that with wings in the spaceship, essentially? That's Anu, the father of the king of the Anunnaki. Now, I don't know what the writing is in the background, I can certainly tell you, though, this image right here is pretty solid evidence for the manipulation of man being from an off-world entity, whether you want to call them fallen angels, whatever. Potato, potato. I think this is pretty powerful. And then the fact that they're, they're featuring the Anunnaki at the Oscars, that's huge, too. So it looks like the person that did this is at Forbid... Den knowledge at oh <laughs> forbidden knowledge. I'm like looking at that while I'm talking to you guys. Nanny, 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 nanny. Very interesting. So, what's your take on this? And also, I have a great Sumerian story to share with you that has been translated by various scholars from Oxford. And I'll leave the credits in this upcoming podcast. It's going to be coming up here real soon fascinating story about Nibiru, about Enki, and he's very boastful, bragging about how he is just the man, essentially, and he, he gave people all these wonderful abilities to farm and, and raise cattle and, and sing and entertain people. He gets extremely boastful, and there's also a part in this seven 8,000-year-old scribe that talks about him taking gold to Nibiru, to the king of the lands, Enlil. And I see so many parallels in the Holy Bible, just different names, different verbiage, different meaning, yet the same underlying tone. It's fascinating indeed, so I'm going to share that with you here shortly. Thank you for listening. What do you think about this, folks? Is this just a, a play? Or is this like in your face, yes, you were manipulated by ancient astronauts, a.k.a. Anunnaki, 
And no, they're not from Kansas. Question everything. Be the change you want to see. Be the project.com.